Hello YouTube, my name is Paul, Oscar Mike Zero Echo Tango, and in this short video uh, you will see an uh, option what I use very often with my ICOM 7610. Um, maybe you use this uh, one large spectrum scope screen and you can't see anything while you are transmitting like like this. Hello, one, two, three, four, five. So I was transmitting, but there was no output signal on the screen. Of course, you can you can change it if you if you switch to uh, center. One, two, three, four, five. But uh, there is uh, not visible the whole range of the band. Uh, so that's a really big problem. All the time you will use this pan to enlarge the range of this screen. It's a one option, of course. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And you still see the whole band on the screen but if you will tune your tuning knob yeah you see the lines here and it's not very it's not very nice by my opinion of course so how we can to do to use uh, the both scopes together one will be set on uh, center and the second one will be uh, set on a fixed mode. It's a very, very easy way. So the first step is to uh, push the dual watch button here. And uh, you will see this uh, two VFOA and VFOB together will light up. And the second thing is to hit the menu button and switch on the tracking. You have to hold for one second the tracking. The tracking is on. Uh, press the uh, menu again. So actually is uh, tracking on and all frequencies set on the VFOA will be same on the VFO B. Okay. Next step is uh, to switch a dual screen like here. Okay. And now you can see the VFOA and VFOB on the separate screens. And now you just uh, set the uh, center mode here on VFOA. Here is the center mode. It's figured out here and tap to the uh, uh, second screen and uh, switch to the fixed mode it's switch mode actually here uh, now you can uh, adjust the uh, span on the first screen um, my option will be uh, 5 plus or 5 no 10 10 kilohertz plus and minus it's okay for me and this uh, screen will be set on the edge between uh, 14100 and 14350 for example of course this is your option what do you want so now is uh, transceiver set uh, complete and now you can see Receive a signal on the whole band. You can easy uh, easy analyze the receive it signal here on this screen.
Okay, so you can easy to analyze the received signal in a small range and also you can see the whole band. You can see this dual information on one screen together and while transmitting you will see also your signal while transmitting. So that's a really good option when you want to see all the information together on one screen. Of course, actually I'm using only one antenna input. If if uh, you will use two antennas, it's not possible to do that. The other option will be uh, very nice to use the uh, audio scope as well. So you can set the audio scope and you can see all this information on the one screen and you can see the four screens together on one on on one display on one screen so it's a very nice mode and here up on the uh, top of the screen you can see the s meters uh, actually i used the uh, uh, bar uh, s meter but if you don't like this barometric uh, meter here you can change the type of this s meter in this mode it's a very easy way to do that. Just hit the menu button and select the uh, set mode and the display options. Here on this list, 1 slash 3, you just have to go to 2 slash 3. And the first uh, line here, you can see the meter type in the expand screen. Here I have using the bar, but you can change it to the edge wise and select the exit or back. And now is the meter changed to the edge wise. It's, it looks like the analog display or the analog meter. And the other option or the final option when I want to show you today is to use these dual screens uh, in the mode when is the screen much more larger. But you have to go back to the uh, mind screen here and now select the type of this screen in the menu mode. Here just tap to the set options and select the uh, scope set to 3 slash 3. In this line you can find the dual scope type and select over and under. Select back and now you can see these dual big displays uh, together. Uh, but there is a little problem if you will use the audio scope. In this mode you can see just the one screen and <clears throat> you can't see more dual screens together on one display. So that's the reason why I'm using this uh, first mode. Side by side because I can see dual screens together and also I can see the audio screen or select the uh, meter and also you can see all screens and the meter okay guys so now I will uh, call this station here who is transmitting on this frequency Oscar Mike Zero Echo Tango. Thank you very much. You are 59 as well. 73. 
Okay, guys. So you had seen the uh, screen while I, I was transmitting, and also you can see whole band, and you can see received signal in the small range, and this uh, uh, oscilloscope screen. So it's a very good option for me. If you like this uh, video, guys, please subscribe and hit the uh, like button. Thank you very much, and 7-3. Bye-bye. This is Oscar Mexico Zero Echo Tango over. Oscar Mexico Zero Echo Tango. Uh, thanks for the call. Uh, a very good morning, uh, good afternoon uh, from North Ireland. Uh, my name is Jim Juliet India Mike. Uh, we're located seven miles east from the city of Derry in the northwest coast of uh, North Ireland. Oscar Mexico Zero Echo Tango. I'll give you a report next time, right? A Mike Italy Zero Alpha Delta X-ray Mobile. Very nice to meet you, uh, Jim. My name is Paul Papa Alpha Uniform Lima. I copy you with a 5-7 report. You have a 5-7 in Slovak Republic. Uh, my QTA is located in the eastern part of Slovak Republic. I'm running 100 watts now and 2 element hex B Montana. Back to you, over. Uh, so we'll be curious about the transceiver. We'll be here at the moment, uh, right about uh, 12.